Hello, Bootil Bob from Bootil Custom Leather here. Uh, there were people who was wondering how I made the braid for the flask that I showed a couple days ago. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know <laughs> how I did it. I was sitting down playing around and, uh, and came up with it. Uh, the problem with playing around is uh, it's hard to remember how you did it but I'm going to try to show you you have to bear with my bad English and with with the camera here this is my first first film this is our store now. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Going up the same holes that I came down in. Like this. So you're coming up in the same hole here, and then you cross the lace, so you're going down in the upper hole here. this and you turn it around and you going back down to the storing hole oh I don't like this like that so you make a Cross on the back side too, like this, and turn it again. Then you take the right lace and you're going under this lace, like this, under that. that and you fold it back and you take the next lace down in the third hole and you take this lace over and down in the third hole like that Then you turn it again and you're backing down to the second hole with both, la both laces like this. Turn it, you take the right lace and you're going under this one like that fold it back take the left lace down the fourth hole right lace over like that again and you're going back you make a <coughs> another cross here so you 
pecking down one hole when you turn. And same thing. Right lace under. Under that one. Like this. Fold over. Take the left lace. Down there, the right lace over, like that. You turn it, back up again, make a cross. Right lace under this you see there's there's some gaps here and that's you just need to have the holes a little closer to each other and uh, uh, closer to the edge then you remove the gaps fold it back like that over turn around do it again Back up one hole, like that, same again, right lace, under, it over and you cross this over I'm gonna see if I can do a closure on this you do the cross there Cross there, going under again, back it over, if I do a closure I think I will go down here, no I don't want to do that. the closure <laughs> I back this over and I go down this hole the last one like that same with this going down this this is when you have when you're going to finish the lacing so you get this one then when you turn it, you don't back, you're going down the last hole. Like this. And this one there. Turn it again. You're going over. On this hole, it's going to get a little tight here, but 
you can use a tool or something to do the hole wider if you want to but closure like this when I get to the back side I don't tie it or anything I just go under a couple here usually you don't see the back side not on the flask anyhow so I cross it there and I'm going under <coughs> across a couple here just like this Then I take the great knife, a Terry, Terry Knipschel knife, and I just cut those. Then I use a, a flat hammer that I have. So, there is the braiding that I use on the flask and remember if you get the holes closer to the edge and a little closer together you don't have the uh, you don't gonna see the leather through the lacing so this is how I did it uh, I hope this will help you it will help me for the next time I'm gonna do it I don't forget it now so this is Bootyball from Boodle Custom Leather. Thank you.